90-day fiancé pair Angela Deem and Michael Al Sami are possibly the worst franchise couple of all time since their 2018 debut on Before the 90 Days. 90-day fiancé couple Angela Deem and Michael Al Sami have been proving why they are the most horrible couple of all time in the franchise. Angela is a 56-year-old woman from Hazelhurst, Georgia, who first starred in 90 Day Fianta, before the 90 Days Season 2 after having starred in reality TV shows such as Maury and Trisha. The full-mouthed Angela thought she was entertaining when she lashed out at Michael Isle Sammy, 34, several times during their segments on TV. Angela's unpleasant behavior has cost her several friendships and respect from fellow cast members, even though Michael has decided to stick around. They have had quite a few ugly splits only for them to get back together and continue living their toxic partnership. Their marriage took a turn for the worse when Angela caught Michael cheating on her with a 30-year-old American woman. However, the couple went through therapy on 90 Day, the last resort, where Angela decided she was not going to divorce Michael and give a second chance to their marriage. In August 2023, Angela was filmed hurting Jennifer Delandro, her best friend, during a physical altercation that took place between them in a New York hotel lobby. Angela's vile and abusive ways are nothing new to longtime franchise fans who've watched her butt heads with cast members or abusing her husband on camera shamelessly. One of the most OMG moments in Angela and Michael's relationship was when she smashed cake on his face. Angela was in Nigeria visiting Michael and was fed up with his behavior on social media. While Michael had thought he'd apologize to Angela with the cake, she told him, there's your cake, Michael, and walked away. One of the newer examples of Angela's aggression in her relationship with Michael was on Happily Ever After, season 7. Angela had found out Michael reactivated his Instagram page and was using it despite her telling him not to. When she asked him to take it down, Michael said he'd only do it if she coughed up $5,000. Angela flew down to Nigeria to surprise Michael, and when she reached his home address, she started destroying his car with her bare hands. Angela was the one funding Michael's car expenses and his house payments, but that didn't mean she should have been going ballistic and ripping the car apart. Angela's biggest worry in her 90-day fiancé relationship with Michael has always been about him cheating on her, owing to their age gap. Angela underwent weight loss surgery, so she could look young and live longer for Michael and even wished to get a facelift to enhance her appearance. Michael had cheated on Angela during the initial years of their long-distance relationship. Angela noticed that Michael was following several younger, beautiful women on Facebook. She told the cameras about a secret that was so painful that she had not uttered a word about it to anyone. Angela recalled that Michael had given a ride to a girl in his neighborhood. The girl didn't have any money from her, so Michael accepted oral sex from her as payment. Michael confessed he had been unfaithful to Angela by saying, I did the BJ thing, but also defended himself by claiming it was the only time he'd cheated on Angela and didn't do anything with anyone else. However, Michael was lying to Angela because when he reactivated his Instagram in Happily Ever After, Season 7, Michael had begun talking to a 30-year-old woman based in the U.S. Michael had even told the woman he loved her and would leave Angela once he came to America to be with her. While Michael is a certified cheat, Angela is no saint herself. Angela has gone out of the way to flirt with other men on camera or on her social media. Angela was smitten by Dr. Michael Obing, the surgeon who performed her gastric bypass surgery for weight loss. She said he looked like Michael's twin and asked him if he was married. Angela was even invited to Dr. Obing's birthday party as his client and seemingly made him drop her at her hotel as she was feeling sick. Michael was not happy with what Angela had done, but it was not like he could stop her from flirting with Dr. Obing. Then came along a Canadian man named Billy Soteropoulos. Angela told Michael she had a crush on Billy. She wanted to travel to meet him and provide assistance as Billy was facing a medical crisis. Michael threatened to leave Angela if he went against his wishes, but Angela did end up flying to Canada to see Billy and didn't seem to regret it. There have been suspicions about Michael being a scammer ever since he was introduced on 90 Day Fiancé as Angela's Nigerian lover. Michael had slid into Angela's Facebook DMs to tell her she was beautiful. He could have tried his luck with several other American women just like Angie, but she unfortunately fell for it. Angela gives Michael no reason for him to continue the relationship.
She's been an unlovable partner and Michael has proved it by cheating on her with other women. This suggests Michael is with Angela for a green card and her money, and she knows it. Angela and Michael have one of the largest age gaps in the franchise. Angela is 22 years older than Michael. Angela being older than Michael was something that his family didn't accept as it would be difficult for her to have his baby. While Angela did think of surrogacy as an option and tried to get her daughter to carry her baby, she later decided she was too old to raise a child all by herself, while Michael was still waiting for his visa. Besides, age gap issues also mean power dynamics and differing interests, which have been a constant in Angela and Michael's relationship. It's not like Angela only quarrels with Michael on 90 Day Fiancé. She accused Michael's friends of being a bad influence on him and referred to them as goofballs. She had been rude to his friends from the start and called them nasty. She never tried to get along with them, while Michael's friends always believed she wasn't the right woman for him. Angela has also threatened Michael's friends with physical violence on the show because they supported him when he refused to delete his Instagram. Meanwhile, Angela locked horns with Usman Dumar, a.k.a. Soja Boy, when he defended Michael openly on Instagram. Angela has called Usman a scammer for pursuing a relationship with the much older Lisa Ham. However, Usman has also claimed Angela is the one who scammed Michael since 2018 by using his money to buy a house and spending it on surgeries. Usman accused Angela of having a criminal past, due to which she may have not been eligible to file for Michael's visa. He accused Angela of using Michael to film 90 Day Fiancé and being a scammer for not taking him to the U.S. with her.